Like my man once said, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. The hands can't hit what the eyes can't see. Words from the mouth of one great to another. But this one's career took off right here in the Hostess City. I told my mom, Mom, look, this is me. She said, what you talking about? I said, I'm going to be a fighter. In a 25-year career, he won the Golden Gloves, knocking out Jimmy Chumley in the first round, made Joe Frazier's boxing team. Later, he joined the Marine Corps' boxing team and was later picked up by heavyweight champion Larry Holmes. Zeke Wilson, a fighter for justice. That's what his Hall of Fame belt reads, not knowing before he retired from his boxing career to promote fighters that he would have a fight of his own outside of the ring. He took the state sports commission to federal court in Massachusetts for discrimination. That's because it made him pay $10,000, double what white promoters paid for their fights. Then they still didn't let his boxers in the ring. It shocked me to no end that he would treat another Marine like he did, but he told me plain, I'll never run a boxing show in Massachusetts. And he don't give a damn what I do. More than 20 years ago, all while representing himself. No lawyer wanted to touch my case. He won, setting federal precedent for challenging same race discrimination. Somebody tried to take away your right, and after serving your country like I'd done, you know what I mean? It just, it just it got to me. You know what I mean? And it was ugly. It was the first case of its kind to reach a federal jury, but the impact of what happened to him also changed the lives of his family. It put me, it put me in a, in a shelter. Me and my daughter and my, um, and my wife, you know what I mean? Because the house that I had was taken away. I mean, I, because I spent every dime I had to put it all together. After decades of fighting in and out the ring, he put it all in a book, but still wants the world to see it all come together in a short film. Just trying to cash in on what I have done with all the same time in my life. And if people take anything away from his story. Why, why you just didn't walk away? Because I'm a fighter. Some familiar faces you might see in the film are Congressman Buddy Carter and former mayor of Savannah, Eddie DeLoach. A local film director and SCAD student I talked to today told me about how the project is coming along. They say they're working on trying to get the film complete for Black History Month. It's a, it's a lesson. It's a lesson to, to, you know, teach you that it might be difficult and, you know, the odds might be stacked against you, but you can prevail. It's a good story to, for you to say that someone has done this and that it can be done and that, you know, it's not the end of the world. All right, thanks a lot, Alyssa. And by the way, they are still looking for cast members. If you want to be in the film, there will be information on our website along with this story and the contact information.